This is a video presentation on measuring high frequency vibrations using still frame consumer cameras. Lately, high speed cameras are increasingly being used in model analysis to measure full field displacements. The approach is non contact and captures the full field data synchronously. This is an example of data we acquired using Lucas Canade Optical Flow from high speed camera footage. You're looking at the response measured by the camera in orange and the excitation force measured by a transducer in blue. In this example, we were able to measure vibration amplitudes of only 200 thousandths of a pixel or scaled to meters, roughly 6 nanometers. The problem with high-speed cameras is their price and relatively low image resolution. Here are some rough estimates of price per camera for a mid-range and highest-end camera compared to a consumer DSLR camera on the right. Consumer cameras produce high-quality, high-resolution images at a fraction of the cost, but they have a very poor frame rate. We wanted to use the steel frame camera to measure structural dynamics. However, in our case, we typically work with responses in the range of multiple hundred or thousand hertz. So we developed a method we call spectral optical flow imaging that uses harmonically varying illumination to measure spectral components far above the camera sampling rate. Spectral optical flow imaging, abbreviated as SOFI in this video, is presented in greater detail in our MSSP paper titled Measuring Full Field Displacement Spectral Components Using Photographs Taken with a DSLR Camera via an Analog Fourier Integral. It works by performing an analog Fourier transform during the image acquisition. Fourier transform is defined as an integral of the signal modulated with the harmonic. When a camera takes an image, it basically performs an integration of radians over the exposure time. What we propose is using harmonic illumination of the following form, which modulates the displacements to produce the following radiance relation. The integral of this radiance produces a relation very similar to the Fourier transform. First, some assumptions that are made in this derivation. We're assuming that the harmonics match the acquisition window. We're assuming a harmonic illumination and small displacements in the range of the gradient linearity. The following relation is produced from the derivation. This part represents the optical flow or motion between frames. In our case, this is the motion between the reference image and the image produced for the harmonically varying illumination and the vibrating structure, during which the structure vibrates. By scaling this with the illumination, Full field displacement spectral components can be produced for frequency and phase set by the illumination. This is an example of a SOFI measurement on a symbol. On top are the lights which are regulated in a feedback loop to produce the harmonically varying illumination. The symbol was rigidly fixed to reduce the rigid body motion because we are assuming small displacements and it was excited with a shaker. The response was measured by an accelerometer attached on the bottom side of the symbol and using SOFI with a consumer DSLR camera, which in our case was an Icon D5300. This is the video of the measurement. The excitation first starts. In this case, single harmonic excitation was used to produce a greater response. Otherwise, SOFI works with multi-sign signals as well. Each illumination period produces a separate frame. First, the reference frame, then sine followed by a cosine phase frame. This is the illumination in blue, measured during the experiment, and the excitation force in orange. From the graph above, five repetitions of the measurement are evident. Each repetition is comprised of three regimes. First, constant illumination, which produces a reference image, followed by sine and cosine phased illuminations for the imaginary and real spectral components. The initial experiments proved to be erroneous. In fact, these are two repetitions for the same frequency, however, they don't produce the same results. This is another example. After a considerable effort, the errors were traced to inconsistencies between frames. A bunch of experiments for stationary conditions were performed on a vibro-isolated block where apparent motion was discovered between frames. These are some examples of the apparent motion. We believe these apparent displacements are caused by the mechanical shutter operation and the retraction of the mirror in the DSLR camera, which produces a significant jerk causing shifts in the lens array. To account for this, the steel frame approach was scrapped and the video was shot instead. This is a clip of the video that was shot. 
The video was acquired at 50 frames per second with an exposure of 1 50th of a second. By summing the consecutive frames, separate reference, sine and cosine frames were produced. Unfortunately, the video reduces the resolution from the 24 megapixels for the case of still frames to a mere 2 megapixels. The measure responses were later used in model parameter identification. In some of our previous work, we used a hybrid model parameter identification combining high-speed camera data and accelerometer measurements to produce improved results by combining accelerometer eigenvalues and full field information from the high-speed camera. We used the same approach to identify the parameters using SOFIA. First we identified 39 eigenvalues from the accelerometer measurement. Then we measured the responses close to those eigenfrequencies using SOFI and combined the data to produce full field mode shapes. From the identified model parameters, frequency response functions can be reconstructed. This is the reconstructed frequency response function for a point coinciding with the accelerometer. Black is the accelerometer measurement and orange is the response reconstructed from SOFI full field model constants and accelerometer eigenvalues. And these are the identified mode shapes. 39 mode shapes were measured, all above the Nyquist frequency of the 50 frame per second video that was shot on a 600 euro consumer DSLR camera. A spectrum up to 1 kHz was measured. This, for instance, is a mode shape at 700 Hz, 800 Hz, 815 Hz, 860 Hz and we went all the way up to a mode shape at 991 Hz. To recap, SOFI produces full field displacement components using still frame consumer cameras. A hybrid model parameter identification combining SOFI and accelerometer data was used to identify 39 mode shapes up to 1 kHz. The approach is sensitive. No inconsistencies should be present between sequential frames. It only works for small motion, it is susceptible to windowing effects, and requires a controlled illumination. The approach differs from strobe lights in that the strobe lights produce short pulses of light and therefore stop motion, while SOFI produces the spectral component for a single harmonic from three images of a considerable exposure time. Thank you for watching.